Like, this is something totally different that um, president, our president did for these, for these gentlemen. Just to acknowledge, I mean, like, we people have forgotten. I mean, there's people who didn't even know. Just right. for the record, I don't know supposed to do that is going to affect this man, this man, this man. So somehow, somewhere, you were able to put your personal feelings aside to get out there every Sunday, Thursday, and Monday to play football. So this one time where all these players you have probably haven't seen since 72, you get the opportunity to go to the White House and do something collectively. I think this was one time that you definitely could have put it to side because it's not like you didn't do it for 17 games in a row. Right. Period. I mean, it's, it's about the team anyways, but to let your personal views really stop you from going to the White House, I mean, that's, that's just, it's just ridiculous. And to make it even worse, that's an opportunity that you may never have again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some exactly. of these guys are, I think, they, you know, the youngest, I guess, be like, they're coming to the AARP. Exactly. <laughs> so these guys qualify for the yeah. senior citizens in this town exactly. and the whole country and, you know, go and corral. Right. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You have this opportunity now. Take advantage of it. I mean, you you may not be here. You know, none of us actually, not even them, may not be here to see tomorrow, let alone right. the next president. Right. So take advantage of the opportunity. It, it just speaks into how deep it goes. I mean, and then you think about, well, man, as a player, you know, you want to make sure that the, your player, your your teammate, has your back. Well, if you have all these deep-rooted issues, apparently, right. um, do you really have my back? Right. Do I need to question you? Or all right. So you know. Now, now, now I'm gonna break off. But look, yeah. but this is now this is the point. Like we can really dive into since football is such a team sport. Like the th the demons that are now coming to surface, i.e. Riley Cooper, a few weeks ago at a Chesney concert and, and said that I would I would fight all of these ninjas out here. But yet you're part of a football team that consists of all kind of different races and backgrounds. Your quarterback right? is black. <laughs> Let's just your quarterback is black. Right. Your jersey's green. Right. Yeah. <laughs> your quarterback, Michael Vick. And B7. Okay. All right. So, but my so now here here lies the conundrum. In, in my opinion, what are you really thinking outside closed doors? Like, I mean, when we're not on the field, okay, great, you're showing up. But then, like, are you going to be in one of those moods where I don't like this black person, I don't like this ninja, and so is that going to affect the game because you don't want to block for me this day? Do you not want to pass the ball to me? I mean, it, it, to me, it's a little too much of people's personal business being put out, and I don't like it. You know, I don't like it. Okay, I, I, I see. You know where that can come up. At the end of the day, though, I would hope that you, you're still on the same team. Like whether there's ninjas on your team or not, you it's still going to be a reflection of you if you don't do what you're supposed what to do. What you mean? What if there are ninjas? There's ninjas on everything. I said regardless of if there was ninjas. <laughs> I'm going to say fix the face. I guarantee you. Even, 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 even the Patriots got ninjas over there. Okay. <laughs> wait a minute. And if you ain't playing with your ninjas, you gonna show not see some ninjas on Sunday. Look here, Ricky. I'm gonna need you to take me Okay, I said Rick. The hard her Nyquil is now right. Yo, you know we gonna give you a pass because you're getting a little sick today. Like I was saying, regardless if there was any on there or not, at the end of the day, like whatever you do. It's gonna be a reflection of you. If you ain't blocking it, I don't care what color you're. If you're not blocking, uh, you might not be in the game if you're not doing your job. Okay, okay well let me you. ask you this: If you're on the offense, let's just say, you know, mm -hmm. we would never be on the offense. <laughs> um, we never. never a bit sexier than that. Shout out to our offensive line. <laughs> um, if you and I, let's just say you're a cornerback and I'm a strong safety. <laughs> and we were back there in the backfield. You know, we get ready for the next play. You know, we talking about talking about the next play. And you say, hey man, I can't stand black girls with natural hair. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? You think I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I don't know about him. I mean, I don't know about his white black girl with natural hair. I don't think he's afraid. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's your personal belief. As long as you know the play, we're good. Listen, I'm, I agree with as long as we know the play, as long as you're gonna protect me. I mean, I your personal beliefs and feelings shouldn't matter on third and They shouldn't. But they shouldn't okay, but then, but, but that's it's my question. Yeah, exactly. So, but what if she's feeling some sort of way? against the natural hair that day. Like, since we want to use that analogy, what if she's actually feeling, and then you already are privy to this so you information. She, you, know, you are privy to so the information. So we play for the Falcons, and we play at Michael Vick, and she said, oh, you know, I don't like natural hair, hair ninjas. You know, I can't stand Michael Vick, so blah. So you want to let me get busted on the next play? We're going to both look back. 
Okay, okay. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, no, I mean, like, I just don't. I, I think that I would like to say that the men in the NFL are mature enough to put their personal beliefs aside because I guarantee that they do not agree on everything. Right. But I think that once you get out there on the field, once I put my glove and my helmet and my pads on it and my cup, and then I think that you should be ready to do your job and only ready to do it. I don't care if you know you wear lipstick That's how it should or chapstick. Right. Right. <laughs> lipstick right. or chapstick. Like just do what you did to do. That's a whole other issue. And, and, and that is right. On a serious note, the whole point of the matter is the fact that these gentlemen, from from an era um, that we were all not maybe not even born, the opportunity presented itself to go through the White House, and you just couldn't suck it up to put your personal beliefs aside to join your team collectively and do this again. So um, we're going to take it. We, went, we had to take a serious issue there, but when I want to, we, we really need to segue into something funny because lashes and laces is going to bring you something so funny and so hot. I don't even know if it's out yet. I mean, it may be out, but y'all might not even know. So we're going to tell you. Mr. James Harden has a new hit single out, and it's blazing. So keep it locked. If you're listening to live V100 Radio with Lashes and Laces, your first all-female sports commentator. So keep it here. So